Hello again. Hello again. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome again to Celebrity Countdown, the show where the great and the good try to prove that they're great with words and good with numbers, or sometimes not. Anyway, the rules, as you know, are quite simple, which is just as well, really. The contestants select vowels and consonants until they've got nine letters. And then they try to make the longest word possible in just 30 seconds. And after that, they'll be selecting numbers and working with them to reach a target figure. Now, if you're playing along at home and you manage to beat our celebrity contestants, then you too will get something really special. You'll get to feel really smug. <laughs> now, you know, history has been full of classic partnerships. Anthony and Cleopatra, Tristan and Isolde, Kermit and Miss Piggy. And now I'd like to welcome the other half of our partnership. She's a woman who was destined to be a top mathematician right from the very beginning. When she was born, there were high fives all round. The nurses were at sixes and sevens, and the doctor was one over the eight. Yes, it's <laughs> Carol Vorderman. <Hey. laughs> and now I just talk 19 to the dozen. But this, uh, this partnership business, this uh, Kermit and Miss Piggy is quite an interesting one. Yes. Who's Piggy? <laughs> yes, Carol. Uh, you trying to we know, we know, we know. Anyway, anyway, back in your box, back in your box, Carol, because we want to meet uh, tonight's celebrities, one of whom spends his time in uncommon houses while the other spends a large slice of his life in the House of Commons. So let's start <laughs> with Lloyd Grossman. Here's Lloyd Grossman. <laughs> Lloyd, they can't wait to applaud you. Uh, he was educated at Boston University, though, as the man famed for going through the keyhole, perhaps Yale would have been more appropriate. <laughs> He's had a hugely successful career as a journalist and broadcaster, and his TV credits include the ever-popular MasterChef and his recent series on the history of food, the world on a plate. He's just hoping he hasn't bitten off more than he can chew this evening. Welcome once again. Here's the real applause for Lloyd Grossman. And good Lord, his opponent tonight is no less a figure than Lord Steele of Akewood. Now, among his early experiences, David Steele spent time working as a grouse beater. Well, I thought you'd get arrested for that, but he survived. <laughs> and uh, he first, of course, came to national prominence at the age of 26 as the Liberal MP for Roxburgh, Selkirk and Peebles. I have been sure whether that was a constituency or a firm of solicitors. He was, though, leader of the Liberal Party for 11 years, and since retiring from that job, he's carved out a second career as a classic car rally driver, which must make a change from all those political rallies. So let's just hope that the words he offers don't drive Dictionary Corner round the bend. Here he is, David Steele. <laughs> hmm. Well, you two, are, are you really glad to be here, or do you wish you were somewhere else, Lloyd? Well, actually, as someone who can neither play Scrabble nor do crosswords, I'd like to be most other places. <laughs> <laughs> but it's jolly nice to be here. Okay. And I love your tie. It's got its customary beauty. It's, it's a thing of beauty and the joy mm. forever. As indeed, your good self, David Steele. You're well, very relaxed. I don't think I can outdo Lloyd Grossman in that unnecessary flattery of the chairman. I mean, does that get you extra points? On I, this I very much <laughs> hope so, David. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now let's move on, because keeping uh, these two in order in Dictionary Corner, we welcome lovely lady, a writer, broadcaster and architectural photographer, Lucinda Lampton. She's married to Sir Peregrine Worsthorne, whose name uses up more letters than the average game of Countdown. Now, Lucinda's <laughs> books include one on the history of the lavatory, and flushed with the success of that, she went on to write and present a TV film on the subject. Anyway, with her in Dictionary Corner is the bookmark himself, the wordmeister, Mark Nyman. Welcome to you both. So, Lucinda, are you ready for this challenge? I suppose I am. I, I, I mean, the joy of it'll be a real excitement. OK, now you know the rules, chaps. Contestants are ready. <laughs> what we have to do now is choose uh, nine letters in round one. So, Lloyd, nine letters, please. Um, consonant, please. OK, Lloyd. We start then with R. Uh, vowel. O. Vowel. I. Consonant. Y. Vowel. Vowel. E. Consonant. <laughs> N. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> uh, well, there are two foreign words there so far. Um, um, <laughs> consonant. Consonant. L. <laughs> uh, vowel. You like your vowel, don't you? Yeah, a. I, 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 um, and uh, I'd better have a consonant. And you better have. 
And that is the last one. <sighs> All right, that's the last one. We've got now 30 seconds for thoughts, and the countdown for that starts now. Time's up. Now then, Lloyd, after 30 seconds of thought, how many letters in your word? I think a rather poor five. A rather poor five? Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what Dave's got. I've got six or seven, depending on whether I cheat or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a risk you must take. You must decide whether you're going to risk the seven I'll, or stay no, with I'll, the safe I'll, six. I'll stay with the six. Stay with the six. OK, well, here's the five from you, Lloyd. I'll. Now, the safe six, David. I've got nearly. Just nearly. for fun. Just for fun, what was the seven you were risking? In early. <laughs> <laughs> I just stuck the eye on what the front. Th Am I allowed that? No? I'm um, afraid not. No, it's oh. too late to get into this dictionary. Is it, that's not cheating, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I won anyway, so what is it yeah. <laughs> You're now just trying to humiliate yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes a change from the other way around, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so no points for you, Lloyd. And, David, you're off the mark there with a six. And we now hand over to you, David, for your selection of nine letters. OK, I'll begin with a consonant. Thank you, David. F. And a vowel. E. Uh, another vowel. I. Consonant. S. T-Y, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. Uh, it's a consonant. N. All right, vowel. <laughs> I. Consonant. <laughs> P. Right. Another one. I've got to have another one, have I? Another consonant. You have Con to go all the way up to right. W. W. And a, a, another, another vowel, I think. And a vowel. Marvellous selection, may I say. Oh, oh. oh. OK, second selection in the frame. 30 seconds. Time for the game. see snip. We all see snip. Uh, I'm not accepting. Well, I would. I, I, if I have to, I will do, but I hope we do better than that. Um, David, how many? No, I've not done very well. Five, I'm afraid. Uh, five. Lloyd? Uh, five. Okay, both on five here. Lloyd's five. Wines. Wine. How does your mind run in that direction? <laughs> uh, <wh> Why? <laughs> A good question, actually. Um, w I N E R. Yes, wines, wines. and David. I've got snipe. As in the bird? As in the bird. Yeah. As in the bird. The bird yeah. and, the, and, and, and the wine of the... The wine... I literally got my helms for the wine of the snipe. Perhaps. Lucinda, would nice you Nice rich collection of words. Here, yeah, this is ponies, which is a rather charming... Uh, yeah. Ponies? Yeah, P-O-N-I-E-S. Oh, yeah. Just one better. Yeah. Six. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the point's there at the end of that round. Five to Lloyd, eleven to David, and now we come to the numbers game. That'll sort them out as well. You've got to do the uh, mental arithmetic. <laughs> Lloyd, six numbers, please. Um, one from the top, please. One Lloyd. large number. And um, I'll have five little ones. Five tiddly ones, all right. Oops, so I'll go from this side just for you, Lloyd. We have three and five, eight and six, two and twenty-five. And the target for Lloyd and Lord is uh, 373. And you have just 30 seconds in which to do it. So here we go, 373, or nearest to it. Here we go, 373. Yeah, well, 373, 
Time has gone. Lloyd? 373. Okay, oh. on the nose. Now then, David, what have you got? 371. Ah, oh, well, two away. Okay, we'll check it off with Lloyd. Might not be right, David. You could be in with a chance. But Lloyd, 373 with Carol. Um, 8 times 25. 8 times 25 is 200. Times 2. Multiplied by the 2 is 400. Minus 5 times 6. 5 times 6. Oh, I see. It's 30. Take that away. It's 370. Plus 3. Plus the 3. It's 370. Yeah. I know, where, I know where I went wrong. What? I started with 8 times 25, but I made it 400. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is a job going in the Ministry of Education. Yes. Uh, I had mathematics in my degree, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry to hear that. Oh, dear. I tell you what, David, it's a good job you never became Chancellor, isn't I it? I know. <laughs> yeah, there was oh. never, never any risk of that. I was in the Liberal Party, remember? <laughs> Well, that's done something to the scores, chaps. Uh, 15 for Lloyd and uh, 11 for David. And that's uh, where we draw stumps for half time. But what we would like to do, we like to use the good offices of our guest in the dictionary corner to have a, to have a word or two. And uh, Lucy, uh, we know about you and the A to Z uh, of Great Britain. Give us, give us a letter or two. Hundreds and hundreds of letters and examples I can give you. Where do I start? I suppose I might start with you is for underground. There's a whole world underground in England. And the most interesting of all was the Duke of Portland, who actually lived underground in the 1870s for all of his life. And what about V? V is for Vickers, where there was Parson Jack Russell, who first bred the Jack Russell Terrier, and he was in the saddle unto the end. In that, he rode to hounds until he was 85 years old, and when each of his horses died, he had them stuffed into handsome armchairs, with their sleek and glossy hides holding him aloft until he died. OK, well, there we will leave it, but we'll come rushing back for part two of Celebrity Countdown. Thank you. <laughs>